Hello everyone, today we're going to go over the Blind 75 in C++, and today we're working with encode and decode strings. Now, before we get started, if you're following along, feel free to pause the video um, to be able to uh, write out the comments that we need. For whenever we are uh, going over a problem like this, we need to ask ourselves these four questions. We need to ask ourselves what the input's going to be, what data structure slash algorithm slash technique to use, what to do with the data, and what our output's going to be. So to just give a breakdown over what the problem is going to be, again, feel free to pause the video to write in the comments if you're following along. Uh, we need to, one, design an algorithm to encode a list of strings to a string. The encoded string is then sent over to uh, over the network and is decoded back to the original list of strings. Machine one sender has the function, da 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 da, encode, and then machine two has decode as well for the string, return the string. So the machine one does this string over here, it encodes it, and then decodes string two. In machine two should be the same as string STRS in machine one, and implement the encode and decode methods that we have. Okay, you're not allowed to solve this problem using any serialized methods such as eval, okay. Well, one of the issues that we have to be able to start is that we are given a vector of strings and to begin, and then what we need to do is we need to decode this um, this string vector of string that we already have into our decode function to finally output in machine two to be the same info. So we're dealing with two different parameters to start with, and then finally returning the string that we need. So we're working with different um, different forms of how the data is curated such as with this function needs to connect with that function that we have. Okay, it encodes a list of strings to a single string and then decodes a single string to a list of strings. Pre All right, pretty self-explanatory over here. So, looks like from what we are given, we are given a list of strings and what we need to do is that for our output, we need to fill in the uh, functions for encoding and decoding. For encoding, we need to return the encoded string. For decoding, we need to return the list of decoded. strings okay and so the technique that we will be doing uh, ultimately for this entire solution is going to be a delimiter based encoding approach because one to begin with we are given a list of strings and then what we need to do is then encode them into a string and then return the string into a list of strings since machine one takes one input and then machine two takes another input differently. So we have a list of strings, have a list of strings, make them into a single string. Since the parameter is different, take the single string and then make the single string into a list of strings. There we go. So that's what we need to do for encoding and decoding. So encoding and then decoding. Just gonna put this right over here. And I'm gonna write the steps accordingly for this and also put this in the comment section too. Steps we need to take for our encoding algorithm are gonna be as follows. Steps one. We need to initialize an empty string called encoded. And then step two, we need to iterate over each string S in our list of strings, STRS. So we need to use our for loop or for each loop to be able to take our list and then put it inside of one single string. And then what we will do is that 
we will append the length of a string to a coded followed by a delimiter, which is a way that, which is a bit of a private technique that we use to be able to uh, divide up our strings accordingly. And then we will append our string s to encoded and then finally we will return encoded and then finally and for decoded for our steps that we would need we're going to initialize and empty vector of strings called decoded and for step two, we're going to initialize an index of i to zero and three, while i is less than the length of the encoded string. We're gonna find the position of the delimiter in the encoded string starting from index I. Then we'll extract the length of the string from the encoded string based on the delimiter position. And we're going to move the index I to the position after the delimiter. 3.4. We're going to extract the actual string from the encoded string based on the length 3.5 we're going to append the extracted string to decoded and 3.6 we're going to update the index i to the position after the extracted string and finally We'll return the decoded. And then also for uh, creating our delimiter, it will be a private character indicated as this, just based on the technique. The delimiter is basically um, is used as a separator between the length of each string and the string itself when encoding the list of strings as the nature of the delimiter. Okay, so I know this was a lot. So what I'm going to do for encoding, I'm just going to take this and then I'm just going to put these notes over here sort of step by step to be able to help. And then I'll just put the rest at the top. But just for sake of clarity between the two, I'm just going to do this. Coded, so we can just go this step by step. So, step one, step two, and step three. Okay, so step one is going to look like this. We're going to have a string called encoded. Then, for step two, we're going to create a for each loop of constant string and string for our for each loop accordingly then 2.1 we're going to append the length of s to encoded so encoded to string s dot length and then delimiter and 2.2 we're going to append s to encoded and this is how we append. And finally, we will return encoded since this is a string. We're just returning this. That's it. Now, for the next part, for decoding, I'm just gonna put this right over here. All right. 
So. One. One second. Step one, step two, step three, two, three, and four. Okay. So step one, the way how it's going to look is that it's going to be a vector of string for decode string s. Sorry, no, that. My bad, my bad, my fault, my fault. I kind of goofed off for a second. No, that's not it. No, it's a vector of string called decoded. I was I was literally getting the parameter at the top. That let's forget that. So we have an empty vector of string decoded, and then for step two, what we're going to do is initialize um, i to be zero over here, uh, which will be the index. And then for step three, what we're going to do is that while i is less than the length of the encoded string, i is less than s dot length as strings by nature, is what we will do for 3.1 through 6. Oh, guy. Two, three, four, six. Okay, so this is how it's going to look about. So we will find the position of the delimiter and the encoded string term from the i index. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to create the delimiter right over here. So we know exactly what we're working with. So it's really going to be a private function right over here that will be constant. Uh, they'll have this constant character. This is just the way we separate each of our strings. And for 3.2, we're going to extract the length of the string for the encoded string based on the... the okay. So, going back in 3.1, we're going to find the position of the delimiter in the encoded string starting from index i, so it's size t Limiter position is going to be equal to s dot find for the delimiter based on i to split up what we have for a string. 3.2 is that we're going to extract the length of the string from the encoded string based on the delimiter position. So int length stoi. Which is just a way to be able to get the substring s dot sub string based on the index where we're at, the limiter position minus i to be able to separate every single character accordingly. And then we're going to move the i index to the position after the delimiter. Okay. It's going to be i delimiter position plus 1. 3.4 is going to be string str s dot sub string i length and then 3.5 is going to decoded dot push back str we're putting everything that we investigated from the encoded string right here and putting inside of our decoded vector that's just what we've done after we split up the following string accordingly and then we're going to update the i index to the position after it uh, the extracted string, so it's going to be i over here relative to the length. And then finally, what we will do is return decoded. Let me just make sure I got this right. So we already have a private, yeah, constant character over here. Let me just clean this up. And I'm going to put all these notes in the comics section. Let me just get rid of this. Be able for the sake of clarity. All right. 
and let me just check this. All right, it passes all the test cases and submitting. Okay, so just to give a rundown and breakdown over space and time complexity for the following solution is that our time complexity for a solution is O of n, where n is the total length of all the strings in the input vector um, strs, and we iterate over each string once to concatenate their lengths and actual strings. Uh, the time complexity for decoding is also O of n, where n is the length of the encoded string, and we iterate over the encoded string once to split and reconstruct the original vector of strings. Meanwhile, the space complexity for encoding is O of n, where n is the total length of all the strings in the input vector uh, strs, and we create the encoded string, which requires additional space. The space complexity for decoding is O of n, where n is the length of the encoded string, and we create the decoded vector of strings, which requires additional space. So yes, this was encode and decode strings in C++. Thanks again for taking time to watch this. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.